got to be fucking kidding me! <laughs> Disappointed! <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Mike, welcome to Dying Light. Um, spoiler warning right now guys, in the last part, Jade was kidnapped and by Rise, and eventually she got bitten. And she's be she got turned, we killed her because she was turned, and now we're fighting against um, Rise's lead henchman inside like Raid Rise's um, headquarters, which is the museum now, it's like this big base. So right now, the game is paused, and we're going to be fighting against... I can't remember the guy's name, we'll see his name at the top of the screen now, but it's a boss fight right now, so let's jump into this. To hear his name is. So, it's a one on one fight with this guy. Okay, so we've been given like a standard weapon here, and um, this is the basic. I think it's a machete. Got no med kit, so we gotta be careful. I'm not taking any damage from this guy in this melee fight. You can't win. What? I'm just gonna be very uh, patient, I think. This is my first time attempting this fight, so I'm not too sure what we got ourselves in for. I'm just being patient, so getting one hit at a time, making sure I don't get hit. Oh shit. Okay, he knocks you right down as he hits you. Seems like we can only really get one hit in at a time as well, because when you hit him, he kind of stumbles backwards and then he recovers. Where is Rise? You will never know, boy. Tell me where he's going. What? He's taking the piss. How many men have they got? This is crazy. Okay, so I think we killed one of them. Ow. I think he just killed his own men. So we have taken quite a bit of damage here. We've got to finish off this last guy before we take on to here. Got a new weapon there? Let's equip that weapon actually. Inventory. Yeah, okay, we just gotta switch it on this. It's like a sword. Ooh, get back, get back, get back. Get back, get back, run away, run away. Nine health. Let's get this to regenerate. Hope he, hopefully he doesn't throw a knife at us. As long as we get a hit in him, then we can jump back. And we can miss a few of them before we actually hit him as well, because we've got quite a lot of stamina. Right, two hits on him there. One more hit and he's dead. Nice, we got him. Look at that. Jade lost her life for this thing. It's just lying on the floor. I guess Rice must have dropped it when he was trying not to get shot, huh? Shit, this is just the tissue samples. Where's the other package? Go to hell, Crane. Wow, to hear. You know, you're looking pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah, those don't look like the kinds of wounds you recover from. So, then kill me. No, no, I shouldn't. I should just leave you here to suffer. That's what you deserve. Yes, then why don't you? Because you're not the kind of loose end you leave untied. All right. So everyone's getting killed off now. Troy, it's Crane. Crane, you're alive. Troy, Jay. Jade's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry, Crane. I, I mean it. What happened? Rise. He, he forced us. Jade saved my life, Troy. Again. She died, saving me. Crane, you've still got to call off the Ministry. That's why Jade sacrificed herself, so you could do this. So you could save the rest of us. 
Is Savvy there? Has he figured out how to get a message through? Yes, but to do it, you need to meet me. I have to give you an amplifier that Savvy says can help us break through the signal jamming. I'll wait for you in the safe zone. Halfway to the antenna, which will need to mount the amp. Okay, Troy. On my way. Alright, so we've still got all our stuff that my inventory in a bag. Um, over here it seems. So let's take these guys out. That's just a miss a drop kick. <laughs> let's take out these two henchmen. Well, we survived the drop kick. He just took that drop kick, didn't he? Whoa, I cut him in half. This weapon is sharp, mate. What the hell? <laughs> this, this is a, it's a sword, this, isn't it? It's the first time we've had an actual sword. That's the stash. Alright, so we just got a new weapon there in the storage. To he is weapon. So, um, I think we'll use that, actually. <laughs> I've just upgraded to his weapon, put a bit extra blade on it so it does more bleeding damage. It looks, just looks like a, a pretty effective um, machete. So this should be pretty good for us now. Dr. Camden, it's Crane. Do you copy? Crane, good to hear you're still alive. Did you find Jade? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Listen, I also found Dr. Zara's tissue samples, and I'll bring them to you, but first there's something else I need to do. <sighs> okay, Crane, but remember, we don't have a lot of time. I know, Doc, but I'm about to buy us time. I'll be in touch. Okay, so we got to meet with Troy again. Probably got to make our way to the loft. The only people that actually are still alive are, like, Brecken, back at the tower. Um, Troy, we've only, we've only just really met. Dr. Camden. Actually, everyone else is dead. The other doctor's dead. Jade and her brother are both dead. It's just like... And there's only really one bad guy left, and that's Rise. There's more fighter jets flying around there. Don't know where they're going. We're gonna blow some more shit up. Right, I think this is a different safe house that we're meeting Troy at. It doesn't look like the loft, the one that we've been to before. Yeah, it's just the tower. So, what do I have to do? You need to install it at the highest place possible. That way we'll have the best chance to break through. Okay, so let me guess. I need to head out to that giant antenna tower at the edge of town? The fastest way is through the sewers. Savvy will guide you over the radio. So contact him when you get to the other side. And Crane, when you install the amp, make sure to set the correct frequency on your radio. Pull this off, and the entire world will hear you. Let's hope so. See you, Troy. Alright, so apparently the fastest way to the tower is through the sewers. Alright, here's the sewer tunnel. Let's make our way down. And this is not the sewers, this is the toilet. Is there another door somewhere? Here we go. <laughs> in the complete wrong way. Anything useful in here? Let's have a look. Got a nail hatchet. It's pretty look good looking. It's blue quality. I might upgrade that once. Um, actually, to be, to be honest, we probably won't run out of um, repairs for this weapon because it's got five repairs. It's also pretty good. I think it's got quite a lot of durability as well. Okay, so I'm not expecting too many enemies to be in the way right here. Because we're not really going for any enemy headquarters or anything. We're just making our way towards the tower at the end of the um, the city. There's going to be zombies, of course, but there won't be any of Rise's men, I don't think. Unless he's been listening in to our radio calls and he knows what we're doing. Which most likely he will. <laughs> so this is definitely like the, the escape starting to happen now. Like, getting closer and closer to the end of the game. We're not just... Fuck it. Is that a kid? No way. Is what a kid? What did he see that I didn't see? I don't know what he's talking about. Alright, so that's blocked off. We need to go a different way. Oh, these are the babies. You have to grab them. 
I think when you press square, it says calm, calm them down. But really, it looks like I just killed it. I'm so I'm dying there. Oh, shotgun, nice. I didn't shut up fast enough, shit. Okay, the kid's being killed by the. Holy shit! Why can I see their skeletons? There's a, there's a big guy on the other side of the door. Can he have a sledgehammer? Let's get our stamina back. So to hear his machete is pretty good. Look at this, we're just like one shot on quite a few of these. Oh, I missed. I think we've just got to kill all these enemies, the waves of enemies, haven't we? Am I doing this right? Okay, the wall's being smashed down now by the big guy. Oh, it's not one of the... So we need to move. Okay, I was stuck on a wall there. Just trying to get away. So we got a juggernaut guy. We've got to be careful now with this guy. We've still got all these little guys as well. Shit. I think we should just pick a run for it. Just go through this door that he blew open. I can't, I can't really see myself fight, fighting against this guy. Okay, there's a pipe we need to open there. So we do need to clear some enemies before we do that, because that's going to take a bit of time to do. Okay, so let's... Let's um, avoid this guy. Let's take this guy out. Don't know, this, this guy was a boss at one point, and he did take a lot of um, hits to kill, so... I don't know if he's the same guy, or... If it's going to be as hard to kill as the last one. Okay, that was quite easy, actually. He went down fairly quick. Heavy splitting axe. So he gave us something decent there. Nice weapon. So this can be open now. Alright, let's just get through the sewers. So I think she said this is the quickest way, not the safest way. Because this is definitely not safe. If we could make our way across on... on like the ground or above ground it would be probably a lot less a lot safer looks like we've got a spitter guy up there probably make our way up there naturally let's grapple up there okay that didn't work didn't grab onto it let's see if we can get up this side here he is one shot they die. I think those enemies die the easiest. You seem to just one-shot them. All right. So there's a there's a um, doorway over there. The grappling hook doesn't seem to be working very well around here. So a few bits of things around here. Rifle ammo. Right, that's enough scavenging for now. I think we'll just make our way across. Try and not fall from the top. I mean. I think the grappling hook would work, but I'm not 100% sure, because we've tried it a couple of times in these sewers. And it's not working, so I think we'll just make our way across climbing. Alright guys, we just made our way across the platforming section right there. I think the grappling hook was pretty useful to get across the last bit. So let's carry on. So this is definitely the most dangerous area we've been in for zombies. It's just non-stop zombies, isn't it? Right, enough looting now. I'm just going to stop looting. Let's just make our way to the end of this mission. I 
I think this weapon's going to actually last us to the end of the game now. Because it's got five repairs, and with one of the talent points that we've got, sometimes you don't actually use a repair, repair slot. Um, so, you can probably repair this like maybe eight times before it actually does just get destroyed. We've been using it a lot, and it's still not been even had to be, re be repaired once. Looks like we might have made it. Beautiful weather. This must be the place. Alright, so what's the quickest way to get over there? I guess it would be using the dam, right? Go across there. We could go that way over there. We, we jump down, it says. Okay. So let's just jump into the water. Oh, good job that was deep enough. How dark it is on the water. <laughs> Alright, made our way to the land. Sab, are you there? Uh, yeah, man. You okay? I'm above ground and still in one piece. Oh, good. Now listen, you'll need the key card to the substation. Otherwise, there'll be no power to the antenna. Okay, where do I get this card? You'll have to search the container. It'll be a that. But I have to search the place? You mean the card might not even be here? No, no, it's, it's there, mate. It's just the last guy who tried to do something like this made it to one of the containers before he... Yeah. Lost contact with him. Try and get up. I think we're going up in this direction. Okay, we need to actually search, don't we? So, I just did that to get out of the way, really, <laughs> of the zombies that were chasing me. I think it's night time, and the zombies are pretty dangerous at night time. So, we've got to go inside here anyway. There's a big guy there. I'm guessing this door's going to be locked. Normally, these doors are locked, the red ones on the outside. Holy crap! Big exploded one behind me. Oh, they killed me. Right, so let's um, see if there's an entrance to this place, like on the top of it. So the door here, here we go. So let's have a little search around. Power cable, household supplies. So for the access card, aren't we? We have the back doors open on the ground floor, so we can check the ground floor now inside here. Exploding guy there. Let's um, get a star out and throw it at him. Good job we didn't actually spot us and turn around. Right, there's loads of lockers we can check. I'm not too sure if it's going to be in the locker or if it's going to be on a desk. I think we just got to check everywhere we can. Great, nothing. Yeah, it's not in this container. So have to make our way to the new other one. All right, so the gaps on this bridge are pretty. It's like the, the ledges are pretty small. So we're going to go across this quite slow. Um, can we make that jump? Okay, ooh, fuck. Fallen. That's not good. I think we can still grapple our way up, though, if we want to. Yep. That still works. Let's avoid those zombies for now. Let's just find this keycard. Oh, shit. These fuckers again. Got the big guys, really? Let's look around inside for the keycard. Try and avoid these guys as much as we can. If we don't need to fight them, we won't. Shooting spit green shit at me though. I mean, I don't think I think it's gonna be on a desk if anything, you know, if we're gonna find it. I don't know if it's gonna be in, inside any of these boxes. I think we need to jump back out the roof. Um, there's a door there. Can we open that? No, we can't. Can we go over the top? There's a guy there. Hello. Look around inside here. There's a dead guy. Keycard. Nice. Yes, Found it. Fucking finally! Got it. Savvy, I got the keycard. Great. Now go to the substation. It's close to the antenna mast. Inside the fence. Use the card to get inside. Alright, so we need to make our way all the way over to that antenna now. Why have I got a feeling that we need to climb that at some point? 
It's probably not going to work from the bottom, so I need to climb it and do a manual, like, setup or something. Alright, so we're getting very close to the tower now. Just going to get on the other side of this fence. Looks like we can maybe jump on top of this car. Make a jump across, hopefully. Uh, there's a gap on the top of that fence there. There's no barbed wire. Exploding ones, fucking perfect. Exploding ones, there they are. Let's keep our distance. I don't think they can climb rooftops, so we'll just stay up high for now. Take him out. Enter the power substation. Where is the power? What is a power substation? Is it that? Is that is that the power substation? Maybe it's this brick building. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Alright, there's a building there. I think this is the key card. We just swipe the key card here. Open the door, open the door. Close the door, close the door. <laughs> Turn on the transformer. Turn on the Okay, so let's go for this door. Please tell me we can get inside. Oh shit, some guy's killed himself. He hung himself. Oh, what a way to go. With a metal chain as well. Alright, so turn on the transformer. Where do we do that? One of these things here. Take the panels off. Okay, it's this one. Done. Awesome. Now find the control panel at the base of the mast and turn it on. We need to get to the base of the tower now and turn on the power. Is it where that guy's standing? Shit, my health just went down there. Must have been an exploding guy next to me. I think it's that, that panel right there. Let's see if we can actually access it without having to kill stuff. Come on, come on. We did it, nice. Just get to the top, no sweat. Trying to think, trying to grapple up there, but it's not working. Let's just get some height a second. If we can grapple like on there, that'd be really good. Oh, come on! Okay, there's an elevator coming down, it looks like, so maybe we can get inside that. Oh shit, the cable snapped. The cable snapped. You've got to be fucking kidding me! <laughs> Disappointed! <laughs> okay, so we can get inside it still. I guess we can climb it inside. Alright guys, I just fell from the top and it put me on the outside when I respawned, so we made our way up here, not the way you meant to, but hey, we're up here, so let's carry on. Need to climb a bit higher, I think, to actually get to where we need to be. Try and figure out where we are, actually, because I've not actually made my way up here. I think we can jump across to that over there. Let's try this. There we go. I'll be getting top of this one. Climb on this one. Just keep going around in a circle. And is there a ladder we can climb, maybe? Or not? It's blocked off, it looks like. Just need to carry on climbing. Here we go, we can have this. pretty mad climb right now. At least we're free of zombies, because I know there's definitely a shitload of zombies down on the ground. I didn't really kill even that many of them. Okay, there is zombies up here. That's a surprise. Good job we got this machete, because it owns. <laughs> um, we can actually climb this now, it's good. Climb the ladder. A lot of games these days always have like a mad tower they have to climb, don't they? Like Infamous does it, Assassin's Creed, 
It's just, there's a lot of games that do do it where you've got to climb a tower. We're just climbing in a game. Alright, so we've reached where we need to be on the tower. Let's sort out the amplifier. Anyone who can hear me, please listen. My name is Kyle Crane, and I'm sending this message from inside the Huron quarantine. Colonel Tanner and the Ministry of Defense have lied to you. There are still survivors inside the walls. They plan to firebomb Huron, but if those bombs drop, you will know Tanner and the Ministry are cold-blooded murderers. Holy shit, there's someone alive in the quarantine zone? Hey, do you copy? Do you copy? It's open! That was too close. Wait, they were about to bomb as I made that call. <laughs> Crane, is that you? Do you copy? How the hell do you want? We want to offer you a chance to get out of that horrible place. Oh yeah? And why would you do that? I never found out who had your precious file. You don't even have to pay the rest of my fee. Water under the bridge, Kyle. We're best off just to move past that. All you need to do is to bring Dr. Zara's research with you, and we'll send a nice, safe helicopter to extract you. You realize I know what was in the file. I knew you were going to exploit the virus. Crane. Oh my god. You need the cure now for spin, don't you? That's the only way you could get out of this. Try to convince everyone you were working toward a cure the whole time. Don't be ridiculous. Bring us the research, and everything will be fine. You want the research? Just fucking wait for my signal. Savvy, you there? The amplifier's installed. Brilliant, Crane. Now just zip line down. That tunnel I mentioned is near where you land. Which zip line? It's like, there's one that way, there's one that way. Okay, this way. It's a long zip line. Look at this. Am I just using my hands? Can I see? My hands will be banned. No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that's the tower we came from, all the way over there. We're going to return to Old Town now through the tunnel. We're going to do that in the next part, guys, because uh, that's all we got time for for this video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!